Hi there, welcome back to Simon Says. My name's Simon, and today I'm going to be reviewing a little Meflora plant moisture sensor device. So you may have watched one of my recent videos where I showed the homemade plant sensor that I made using the capacitive sensor along with the Shelly Uni. Now that worked great, but the limitation was it needed power. So I had to have it near a power source, plus I had messy wires coming out of it. So I searched for one of these online. Now these are the Mi, Mi Flora sensors, and the beauty of this is with the new Bluetooth integration and the Bluetooth proxy, it's immediately recognized by Home Assistant. So I really liked the idea of this, and I thought I would order one off AliExpress to see what it works like and of course the quality of the device. Now first of all I'm really impressed with the quality. Uh, it comes in a neat little package like this. You just clip the back off and you can then have access. I already pulled it off but basically you need to use your fingernail and inside there is a CR2032 battery. So we'll see what the life of this is like and I'll give you some feedback. Um, as you can see it's got a nice little rubber seal around it so I think that makes it reasonably water resistant. Um, inside here you have a little LED at the top so that will flash uh, when you first put the battery in. Um, secondly you've got a light sensor um, so at the one side you'll see there it's got a little hole in it so that is a light sensor shows you how much light is in the room um, and it clips together very easily so we just clip that on and then you'll see really neat little package comes in a nice little plastic case and I'm really impressed with the build quality of this device. Very, very simple, very easy to use. I did upload the app. Um, it uses the Smart Life app. Um, I wasn't able to get it to connect to the app, so I'm not sure what went wrong. Sometimes I find with the apps on these devices, they don't connect very well. However, the beauty of using this, this with my home assistant is that these little BLE devices they connect immediately to Home Assistant. So that's what I was going to use it for. So I'm not really worried about the app at all. Let me show you how that works in Home Assistant. Up the battery. Next thing is you obviously go and place this in your plant. So just push it in into the soil. And after that, you will see that once you go and switch on your Home Assistant, it will come up with a notification which will say it has found the plant sensor provided you've got your Bluetooth set up on your Home Assistant. If we go into that device, go along here, and you'll see that it's offering you four different sensors inside here. The first one is the moisture, so that's obviously based off the amount of moisture in the soil. The second one, and this is really cool, is the light level. So this is great because it'll show you how much light your plant's getting on it, but it also offers you light levels for other automations within your system. It also offers you temperature, so it will show you what the temperature is in the room, and also this thing called conductivity. And I believe this shows you the levels of um, the basically the minerals in the soil. So if your plant needs more minerals to keep it going, this will give you some sort of a feedback on that. So I'm not quite sure about that. I don't know much about plants, but it sounds pretty awesome. It also gives you a battery reading, currently sitting at 100%, and it also tells me what is my signal strength. So really, really cool little device. A little bit more expensive than what I thought they would be, but honestly, very simple to use. Connects immediately using the new Bluetooth system. Very, very simple, and I am very, very impressed with this device. And I'll give you some feedback once I've had it in my plant for a while. And once again, you can run any of your automations that I've shown before, like the automation sending a text message or a voice message based on once the moisture level gets too low. That's all for me now. Have a great week. Bye for then.